Hi friend, welcome to day five of five and five challenge. You've made it to the end. Yay! Whoa! Yay! 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 I know it seems like it's not that important and that five minutes every day is not that much, but consider how many times you actually take five minutes a day to move your body and connect with yourself. And if you hadn't been doing it until now, even if you skipped a day or two, even if you chose a particular practice and stuck with it or did the entire challenge, did you find any benefit? If the answer is yes, wonderful. If the answer is no, then move on and try something else. Today's practice is designed to help you release, let go and surrender. So we'll start lying down on our back. You could, of course, stretch out your body in Shavasana. But if you want to join me, perhaps bring your feet as wide as your mat and allow your knees to surrender toward one another. Your arms could rest next to your body on the floor or maybe you allow them to relax on your belly. Let your gaze soften down or close your eyes. And as you let your back body become a little bit more comfortable into the earth, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Again, inhale, fill up your body. Exhale, relax, even if it's just 1%. Inhale, notice the expansion, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And release. <sighs> Let yourself feel what it's like to be right here, right now, without having to do anything at all. On your inhalation, take your arms overhead, allow your knees to point up toward the ceiling and keep your feet wide. And then as you exhale, surrender both knees toward the left side. You could stay there for a while, or perhaps you just windshield wiper. So as you inhale, you come through center. And as you exhale, you take both knees to the right, as little or as much as you'd like. So ask yourself, what does serve me more right now, movement or stillness? What will allow you to release tension? to cultivate spaciousness. If your knees have been to the left, on your inhalation, bring them to center. And on the exhalation, move your hips to the left and allow your knees to surrender to the right this time. And just breathe. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, come back through center, align your feet with your hips and draw your knees toward your chest. You can let them be right to the chest or maybe a little bit wider toward the shoulders, hands underneath your knees or over the shins. And maybe you create a little bit of movement from side to side here. Or perhaps you rather take circles with your knees one way or the other. And they can go in the same direction or you can make your knees go in opposite directions. Breathe. Stop the movement. And then extend your legs away from you and your arms overhead. Inhale, stretch up. Perhaps squeeze all the muscles of your body, including the muscles of your face. Tighten, 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 tighten. And exhale to relax. Bring your feet to the floor and stay here. Or maybe draw the knees toward your chest and begin to extend your legs up toward the ceiling. And you can stay here in stillness, in this inversion, letting your entire body relax and surrender. Or maybe you take a moment to shake your legs and also stretch your arms up and shake your arms. Shaking is a great way to release stress and anxiety and extra tension and to regulate your nervous system. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, either surrender into Shavasana, stretching your arms and your legs, taking up some space, or bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees draw open. And give yourself just a couple of breaths here, allowing your entire body to let go. One more breath. And then slowly drawing your knees toward one another. Roll toward either side. Press yourself up, coming onto a comfortable seat. 
and bring your palms together in front of your heart, bowing your head in gratitude to yourself, to your body, and to the time that you gave yourself for the last five days to reconnect, to move, to breathe, to align yourself a little bit more, to learn how to pause. Inhale deeply, side out. Release your hands and open your eyes. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the challenge. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that it has served you. I would love to hear how it went for you, which practices you found that you connected more to and which ones you found more challenging. And I don't refer to as the shapes themselves. Sometimes for some of us, it's more difficult to be in stillness. Share with me how this challenge was for you and remember that you can come back to it any time that you want to reestablish a small habit of taking breaks and taking care of yourself. Until I see you again, pause often, breathe deeply, and stay kind, especially to yourself. Bye now.